unto me good health. I worship your holy name. I magnify you. Thank you, everlasting Father, for your faithfulness upon my home, upon my family, upon the works of my hand. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your grace in joy overflow. Thank you, Father, Lord, because you have not allowed the, the gates of hell to prevail. Father, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your mercy. Father, Lord, your mercy has kept us. Your mercy has been, has been availing for us, oh Lord. Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. We adore your holy name for the air that we breathe. It's not because we know how to do it. It's not because we know how to pray. It's your mercy, oh Lord. It's your mercy, oh Lord. It's your mercy, oh Lord. Father, we worship your holy name. Father, we magnify you. Father, we praise you. Father, we lift you high. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. There is no one like you. There is no one compared with you. There will never be any after you. Father, we lift you high, oh Lord. We exalt you, King of glory. We magnify you. We praise your name, oh Lord. Be thou exalted, my King and my Lord. Be thou magnified, my King and my Lord. Be thou lifted high, my King and my Lord. Father, we praise your holy name. Thank you, Father, because you remain faithful to us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for where you have started with us. Thank you, Father, for where you are taking us to. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Somebody just open your mouth and sing a new song. Uh, because it's worthy of our praise. Uh, because it's worthy of our praise. Father, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. Uh, Father, we just thank you. Father, we just worship you. Father, we just lift you high. Because you are worthy. Because you are faithful because you are mighty, because you never change, O oh Lord. Father, concerning us, you have never changed and you will never change, O oh Lord. We lift you high, King of glory. We glorify you. We magnify you. If you are here to thank you, it is not enough, O oh Lord. Because if all our heads are enough to thank you, we will not stop thanking you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we exalt you. Father, we lift you high. Thank you, Father, for yesterday. Thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for tomorrow. We will forever praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us go before the Lord and ask for mercy. The Bible says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And we are here this morning. Uh, he has counted you what to receive his mercy. Go before him and tell the Lord this morning. In every way I've wronged you, Lord. In every way I've trespassed against your word. In every way I've been disobedient. Uh, in every way I've gone astray. King of glory, have mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me. I know I have sinned. Um, I know I've fallen short of your glory. But you said you will have mercy on whom you have mercy. Father, Lord, I cry upon you this morning. Have mercy upon me. Oh, son of David, have mercy upon me. King of glory, have mercy upon me. Forgive my iniquity, Lord. Forgive my sins, Lord. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Oh, Father, Lord, purify me, Lord. You said if my sin are as red as scarlet, you will wash me white as snow. Father, Lord, I have, been, I have wronged you, Lord. Lord, have mercy upon me. That blood that was shed, oh, Lord, will not go in vain upon my life, oh, Lord. Have mercy upon me. Forgive my iniquity. In that the name of Jesus. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Purify my soul. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord today I do not want to come in vain. I want to be a partaker of your blessing. Everything in my life that will hinder me from getting blessed oh Lord. I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy. Lord have mercy upon me. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. We have come to the presence of the Lord this morning. We're going to pray. As we have come today, we will not go back in, in, in vain in the name of Jesus. We will not go back the same in the name of Jesus. We have come with one mind, but everything, the thing in our hearts is different. We are the ones that know where the shoe is pinching us. We're going to call on the name of the King of Glory. And we're say, going to say, Father Lord, intervene in my situation. Father Lord, as I've come to you today, Lord, I want you to transform my story. I want you to change my story. I want 
want you to turn my story around. Um, I want you to do a new thing. Um, it's our God of new thing. He's ready to do a new thing in your life. If only you give him the availability. If only give him the chance to do it. Call on the name of the Lord this morning and say, Father Lord, turn my story around. Uh, change my situation. That which I've been asking of you, Lord. That which I've been having sleepless nights over. That which has been keeping me up at night, Lord. Father Lord, I bring it before you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, answer my prayer, Lord my God. Let me be a, a, one of the people that will testify of your faithfulness, of your goodness, upon my life, uh, upon my children, upon my, 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 my family. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, give unto me a new song. Give unto me a new song, O oh Lord. Father, transform my life, O oh Lord. Uh, you are the God of new things, Lord. Do a new thing in my life that the whole world will see and, and glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, everlasting God, we cry unto you, Lord. Do a new thing. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're going to pray this morning and say, pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry as I've come to you today, Lord of my God. Pass me not by in the name of Jesus. Every Sunday is a time of blessing. Every Sunday is a time of visitation. The blessing that the Lord has packaged for today will not elude me. In the name of Jesus, Father of my God, I will be a partaker of the blessing of the day. In the mighty name of Jesus, pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry while all others are crying. Lord, do not pass me by. In the name of Jesus. Send your word to me today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, deliver me today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, lift me up, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, and take me to the mountain top. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, today, I will break through in the name of Jesus. In what I lay my hands upon, comes with power. Let it deliver me. Let it heal me. Let it break me forth. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to pray for the servant of the Lord, that the Lord will speak through him, that the Holy Spirit of the Lord will move through him. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we pray. Let your word come with power, Lord. Uh, use your servant for our situation. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Children of God, let us surrender all to the King of glory. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, I surrender all. I surrender all to you today, Lord. Father, Lord, move through me in the name of Jesus. Move in me today in the name of Jesus. Touch me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everlasting Father, we thank you. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the people shall possess their possession. We are here to possess our possession. We are here to meet with you, Lord. Father, Lord, do not let us be ashamed in the name of Jesus. We, co we commit the service unto thy hand, O Lord. Um, Father, do that which you do best in the name of Jesus. And let your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. done marvelous things in our lives he never uh he did not forsake us oh lord we thank you just raise your hand and keep thanking him and keep worshiping him hallelujah jehovah is your name jehovah is your name Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty oh, mighty one.
Jesus, save you all. 
worship the Almighty God this morning. Choir, be lifted high. Ah, be lifted high. Ah, oh Lord, be lifted high. For you are righteous and worship God this morning. Just magnify his name this morning. Appreciate the almighty God this morning. Yekarosa de rebo sende rebo zidaya. Yekasanda bragada bo shande rebo. Yekasiga. Yekasanda bro zenge do mo zidaya. Matekasande bro sende ye. Let the Almighty hear your voice this morning. Let the Almighty God hear your voice this morning. My bed has on the bros on the yet. Yet has on the bros on the yet. Yet has on the bros on the yet. Yet has 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 on the yet. Ye bruza gado basi de yerebo, makeke soto yebo, makeka tobra, ye tuza na brosa te yaba. Thank you, Baba Master, Baba. We worship you. Celebrate you here this morning. We celebrate you here this morning. We adore you here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I like that we are now we celebrate you. I look for a job we celebrate you. Ela Burika, we celebrate you. Mashade, yeke sota pa sande ye, yeka seka ba edo bo sende ye, yeke soto bro ma zeke de ye bo shede. Worship the Almighty God. Worship Him this morning. Let your voice be registered to heaven. Let your voice be registered to heaven this morning. Appreciate all He has done in your life. Without God, we are nothing. Without Him, we are nothing. It is him that caused everything to be wonderful in our life. Lord, you will celebrate you. Lord, we celebrate you. We worship you. We worship you. We adore you. Be thou exalted. For in Jesus' precious name, we worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Daddy, we thank you this morning. I like that we are that we celebrate you. Abani ni ajo madani, we magnify your name. You are everything in our lives. Joy overflow, we are here this day, Lord. Thank you for all you have done, Lord. We have seen your mighty hand in our midst. For with everything within us, Lord, this morning, we say thank you. Receive our praise, Lord. For in Jesus' precious name we worship. Put your hand together for the Lord. Celebrate God this morning and have your seat. Hallelujah. God is God. There's nothing in life you can add to God. God can never change. 
Arugojo. He never changed. He never sleep. He never slumber. And he will remain God. It doesn't matter what you do. God will remain God. Hallelujah. Daddy, we celebrate you this morning. You are welcome to Joy Overflow International Ministry. Hallelujah. Also known as Rabuni House. You are welcome. I see faces radiating this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. Amen. I just have this short word this morning. Please, can we all turn our Bible to Second Chronicle? Every person, Lord. Chapter 26. Verse 5. Something captured my mind this morning. Something captured my mind this morning. The Bible was talking about Uzziah. He's a king that came to throne at the age of 18. Hallelujah. I just want you to grab something this morning. As you leave this place, you will do exploit. <laughs> I'm not just talking this morning. I'm talking because I'm saying. I said, as you leave this place this morning, you will begin to do exploits. Amen. Before one testimony finish, another one will erupt. Amen. Before another one, another one will come. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. The Bible talks about this man. And Uzziah sought God in the day of Zechariah. Who has understanding in the vision of God. As long as Uzziah saw the Lord, God make him prosper. That is work. To seek God is work. And we call work labor. Hallelujah. He seek God. God said, when you seek me, you shall find me. It's work. Shall I tell you this morning, there's dignity in labor. There's respect in labor. How do I know? Let's go to verse 14 of the same scripture. 14 and 15, please. I want you to see something this morning. Hallelujah. And as you see it, God will catapult you to the front line of blessing. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Uzziah prepared for them. When he seek God, God gave him ideas. Woo! Hallelujah. And he began to prepare throughout all the whole street. He prepared spears. He prepared helmet and habak john and bows and sling to cast stone. Uh -huh. Verse 15, please. And he made in Jer Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on tour and upon the buckwalk to shoot arrow and great stone without. And his name spread far abroad for he was marvelous head till he was strong. Hallelujah. I see somebody strong here this morning. It's the second person the Bible talk about that people have and they became strong. Hallelujah. Man came to David and helped David and he became strong. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second thing I want to tell you this morning. Every favor is powered by labor. He invented and he made in Jerusalem. He made in Jerusalem. He invented and everybody know about him. Favor begin to speak concerning him. What propelled favor in man's life is labor. It is true, God, grace manifests in man's life. But you won't say you have grace and not work. God bless, but God bless the work of your hand. 
He said, whatever you lay your hand upon, shall what? So when you don't lay your hand on anything, what will happen? Hallelujah. I love the way Paul expansiates it. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. So it won't be as if, Pastor Victor, what are you saying this morning? Uh, second, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 10. Hallelujah. Paul understand the grace and he understood the labor. Hallelujah. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. His grace which he was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored. Everybody say labored. I walk more abundantly than all the apostles that, that walk with Jesus. Why I'm special? Why revelation comes? Why I'm radiating in God's glory is that I labor above all of them. Hallelujah. To see the goodness of God each day, your hand must find something. Hallelujah. Never satisfy with labor. I'm not saying this morning that you should be everything going out with strong labor. You have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. No. What I'm saying this morning, labor in God's word. By his grace, I got to a realm that everything in my life is God's word. I pick blessing by his word. Hallelujah. They push blessing to you, you know, this one will disturb the work of God in your hand. And you say in your heart, daddy, I don't want this. Let better one come. People of God, understanding we always bring outstanding. I labor. It's not the other apostles do not work, sir. The other apostles do, they have the same grace. But there's a level to seek. There's a level to seek. He says, with strength shall, ma shall no man prevail. If you put all your ability in what you can do, you realize that you never go far. Everything that you accomplish in life is by your power, is by your hand. You never go far. You will be stopped. Because there will be a place your strength stops. That your energy will stop. I am what I am by the grace of God. But the thing that differentiates us is that I labor. There are some things people suffer to get that will come to you cheaply by understanding the word of God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor it's not everybody that struggles now. Uh uh, it's not everybody that struggles. Grace work. And the grace of God is upon every soul. I am what I am by the grace of God. I know the grace of God. But the way the, the, way the grace is coming, I labor more to acquire more favor. Hallelujah. Grace is unmerited favor. So the more you get, the more you get. And the more you get, the more you acquire. Hallelujah. I always tell God, I'm not tired of your blessing. I'm not. I seek, find out how can I go better than this. And I pray in the precious name of Jesus, you will encounter God. I said you will encounter God. I pray this day in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of joy overflow will satisfy you in every area of your life. Trent, you get tired, you burn out. 
But when you walk with grace, it's as if you are walking, but you don't, but you don't see the effect, but you see the blessing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know, maybe somebody got it this morning. You walk, you don't see event, no strength. But the accumulation is compound. God is making it happen. Amen. That will be your reign. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rise far. I begin to eat where I do not plan. Blessing begin to sort me out. In the mighty name of Jesus. I enter into grace. I enter into abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus. I enter into abundance. I enter into grace. Begin to profess this morning. Ikarosha, Debrasota, Makekasota, Marika, Gaduzande, Eprekasata, Ikaru, Yabasu, Makekasota, Brazigedo, Makekasoto, Bromazegede. So shall it be. In Jesus' turn, to our humbles as we sing the congregational hymn. Hallelujah. Rise on to our feet as we sing the congregational hymn, I am thine, O Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We have uh, two special numbers for you. One says, all power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. And the second one says, you are God. Regardless of what you are going through, God is still God. God will, be, will continue to be God in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Stay blessed as you listen. 
All power belongs to you, our God. 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 Once you have spoken, twice I have heard, all power belongs to you, our God. And what you have spoken will surely come to pass, all power belongs, power belongs to you.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is nothing we can add to God. God is always God. It doesn't matter how the situation looks like. God will prevail over that situation. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what they have said. It doesn't matter the report in your hand. God will always be God. And I pray this day in the name of Jesus. God shall be God over that situation. Over that situation you will rejoice. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please let us bow our head this morning. And let us speak. To the Holy Ghost. That speak to me this morning. Let your word come. With power. Let there be a revelation of your word. Enlighten me this day God. Let your word. Manifest. In my life. In my situation. In the precious name of Jesus. God. By the power of your word that create the universe, let my own be created this morning in the precious name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. My teacher, the Holy Spirit, the hour has come for revelation. The hour has come for your people to be blessed. Let the word be simple unto them. The simplicity of your word. Let it be preached this morning. And at the end of the law, God, let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' precious name, praise the Lord. Today will be the last teaching on time management. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've started a series of time management. That God has given us time. But God never lived in time. Because God has unlimited time. Hallelujah. But he created man and put man in time. And it's the time that we are working. And when the time expired, that is when you said the person is no more alive. Hallelujah. So every time comes. It's better that I tell people you invest your time wisely. Hallelujah. Because we are going to account for our time. The Bible says, after death is judgment. So what is God going to judge me? What is God going to judge you with? Is our time. Because that is the only gift he has given us. And it's going to, you, we, and you, me and you go to account how we make use of the gift. Hallelujah. So by the help of my teacher this morning, I'll be talking about redeem the time. It doesn't matter, you see, my little time working with God. It doesn't matter how you have lost the time. The time can be redeemed, the time can be restored. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, the time can still be redeemed. And the time can still be restored. God is the one that redeemed time. And let me tell you this, the assurance of God's word is so sure in my life. The Bible says, it makes things beautiful, not in my time. And the Bible says my time is in his hand. So if my time is in God's hand and he makes time, he makes things beautiful in its time, I know my beauty has not shown. Hallelujah. Do you, got, you got the rest of the revelation this morning? Oh, my beautiful has not come yet. 
Because I'm aligned with his time. My time in his hand. And he will make it happen in my life. I said, the whole eyes in Baltimore, Maryland, they will know about God in my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Turn your Bible with me, please, everybody. John chapter 10. We know this scripture. That the word of God come new every day. There's something God wants to speak to us when he opened the scripture that you have known. Hallelujah. John chapter 10, verse 10. Hallelujah. The thief comment not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief, which is Satan, he come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. People of God, what Satan attack most in our life is our time. Please, I want everybody to listen attentively this time. Many of us, we don't count our time because we don't know how value our time are. And Satan has blindfolded us because its agenda is to steal our time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We don't keep account of our time. Satan has mission to attack the time of mankind in order to distract them from the purpose of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Let's see what the Bible says. The Bible says Hallelujah. Studio, please walk with me this morning. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is season. But let's all see the second one. And a time for every purpose. God wants you to fulfill purpose per time. Hello? The time to see it as a new baby, that's a purpose. The time to grow, that's a purpose. And those purpose have time. When you are to grow at the age of six months, and you are crowning at the age of nine years, the time of your purpose have been defied. Please listen attentively. I'm begging you in the name of the Lord. But I'm going to show you the wonder work of God. Ooh, God is marvelous, sir. God can do anything, anytime, in any way. Time for every purpose. When time is wasted, Purpose is inevitable. That is, when you don't have time to do what is needful for your life, you are destroying your life. There is time God has stipulated for every one of us. But you know the funniest thing? Many of us do not know that God is counting time on our behalf. When God created us, He created season and time. And it's as much that season and time are what is counting day and night. So with day and night, you are growing. When they ask
ask me what is my age, I can't tell them my age in 2022 the same as 2023. You know why? Day and night I have been counted to add to my age. Please, I can stop if you don't understand. And I will rewind. So when you play with time, you play with night, you are playing with the purpose which is the time that God has given for your life. The better we understand this, the better it will make us to be in life. Hallelujah. There's this account in the Bible. Exodus chapter, I think chapter 5. From verse 5 thereof. The Israelite, when Moses came to Egypt, and he talked to Pharaoh, that God said, let my people go. Please, studio, give us Exodus chapter 5, verse 5. Hallelujah. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are many. And ye make them rest for their body. You know why? You are not giving them a lot of job. That is why they still have time telling you that they are going. They have time to argue with you. But if you not put more burden on them, they will have no more time. And when they don't have no more time, they don't have vision of going nowhere. Hallelujah. Please listen. Satan will put all jargons on the way for you to be occupied, knowing that it's distracting you to get to your purpose. How can a brilliant child, very smart child, that has A's, and get to college and be struggling. Hallelujah. You know why? It's not that it's not smart, but there is not that it's not sharp. Let me use that word. But there's distraction on its way that now slow the pace of moving fast forward, speeding low. And that is why you see, when I went to a friend in Unilag, I think in 19, 1987, there was a son of a great man. He's a military den, Shagaya or something. The guy was spending nine years in the university. And his team, that's right. So everybody will be saying, ah, Oma Baba Lobo is here. He has been here nine years. And he's going to be posing without knowing that he's destroying the purpose of God. In his life. Many of us. We are wasting our time. Without knowing. That we are consuming. The purpose of God. In our life. This is a weakness. Hallelujah. I told you. Somebody touched my life in 1991. 1991. I begin to have plan. I begin to buy ticket. Every day before I leave, I'm in my office. I know my agenda for the day. I'm leaving house to the bank, bank to this, from this to the office, and I know the exact time that I will leave, time, uh, that I will leave office. I make sure that my work is not interfering with my family. Hallelujah. I try as much as possible to project everything that I can have peace of mind. Praise the Lord. It's not when we get hold that we start running to make things happen. But I have the assurance that God reward time. And God still make time with people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I put something down here. 
I said, Satan attacked their time by putting more burdens on mankind. Hmm. What you really lose to most of these seminars is time that you develop to know who God is. Is the same thing in relationship of husband and wife. We rush to many things in life. And it's part of our rush that leads to divorce. Husband, wife, they are from different background, different house. Please listen to me this morning. The way I was trained is different from the way my wife is trained. My wife taught me many things because I don't know them. And I'm not ashamed of it. Praise the Lord. Time I cultivate to learn many things that I do not know. She to use time to know some of the things that I know. We are not superpower anywhere. We align to time. When you align to timing of both sides, you will be able to heal every wound. You don't have the same home training. You don't go to the same school. Even you go to the same school. You may not be in the same class. So every one of us, we are instructed on our own. So I'm coming with my baggages. You are coming with your baggages. We must align with time to study ourselves very well. But you know, guys of nowadays, we don't have time. That is all what we say. We don't have time. Everything happens. Oh, man, I don't have time. And because you don't have time, many things is lost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Should I keep talking or pastor should go? Hallelujah. If you give me time, I can rise again. Hallelujah. Many of us, we said that word, we don't know. Sir, can you give me more time? I die in school project. I die in the office. I die in the house. We say it. Can you please give me more time? But sometimes there's no time to be given. Because the time allocated for us has been eaten by us. Hello? Examination, they told you, is three hours. It's stipulated. There's no how it can change. Either you know or you don't know, after three hours, what will happen? The invigilator will come and do what? Get your papers. It's the same thing as the purpose of life. The time that is allotted for a purpose, if it is not used, hear me, it take only the merciful grace of God, that is, mercy work with grace of God to redeem it. Hallelujah. And Time goes, it does not return. But let me give you this assurance. God restore time by taking what is backward to the front. Hallelujah. 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 I always say this to people. Never despise any person on earth. I'm begging you. You know, I said when I started, God make things beautiful in what? And our time is in what? Hallelujah. Mordecai. Mordecai was a slave. You know why he was slave? Because he was captured. 
from another nation to where he was. And somebody saw him that never know his dignity from where he's coming. Despise and be bullying. You know, let me use that word. I said, so it has been a long time there's bullying. Bully him that he must respect him by force. Hallelujah. But the guy kept to himself because he knows the God he serves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God that makes things beautiful, when they plan evil for him, and God that has the appointed time, turn the evil. I see here this day as God live it. It doesn't matter what. Many things they have planned evil for you. But I see God elevating you. I see God celebrating you. Everyone that plans evil against you, that same evil will cash off with them. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Amma said what? How I can terrorize. You know, that's on what God is giving me nowadays. He has been long, there's terrors. How I can terrorize this guy is I need to take his life. Hallelujah. But God is the one that have time and what? Season. Hallelujah. He turned it. The gallow he prepared, he ended up there. Hallelujah. Mordecai was promoted. You know why he was promoted? Because of time and season. He has been in the agenda of God. That there will be a time that the king cannot sleep. He won't be able to sleep because of Mordecai. He has been written. That is the part of the time and purpose of God. But he's going to be in a season that is going to be established. You know why many of us are in a rush? Is because we don't know our season. And when you don't know your season, you don't know your time. And when you don't know your time, the purpose of God over your life can be eluded. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Time is in God's hand. Time is not an issue with God. <laughs> but time is an issue with mankind. Amen. God can arrange time to accomplish any plan at any time, at any way in man's life. Let me say this again. <laughs> Woo! God can arrange time to accomplish any plan any on any man anywhere in this world. People may have given up concerning you. Oh, his time has gone. <laughs> oh, woo, his time has gone. Please. Relax yourself. Because it is not man that fabricated time. It's God. And time is in God's hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Turn your Bible with me, please. Let me blow your mind. You want me to blow your mind this morning? Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Hallelujah. <laughs> but beloved brethren Christian people that vent in the Lord I want to give you this assurance this morning that be not ignorance of this one thing you can be ignorance of all things but there's one thing I don't want you to be ignorance of and what is that that one day with the Lord is a thousand years. Oh. God, how do you do the arithmetic or the mathematics? I'm little good in mathematics. So, our God, how can, be, how can a day 
24 hours. 860,000 seconds can be 1,000 years. Woo. Okay, not that. I'm going to tell you another thing. A thousand year can be one day. Hello? That shows there's no man on earth you need to envy. If you understand this revelation this morning, there's no man that God has created that you need to envy. A thousand day years. Please, in the house, do we know how many years Methuselah lived? Methuselah, how many years? I think it's 900. Nine? 969. So it's not up to a year. That's where I'm coming. Whoever live and live 1,000 years in the Bible. So the 1,000 years they have lived, God can capture it in a day. That is to say, everything they have acquired, either by strength or by grace, somebody can get it one day. Hello? How many seconds does it take Pharaoh to invite Joseph? Hello? <laughs> Slave to prison. Prison. He came to be the vice president. Everybody shouts, time has season. It is the time of the Lord that he must go through what he has gone through. But the season for the purpose is that he went through all those things to end up in palace. Hallelujah. Not only end up in palace, so he will be able to preserve every of his household. So let me say this. Whatever blessing God placed upon your life and you are not showing forth in your family, you are not walking in the light of the world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is not in a hurry as we are. We need to... God has unlimited timetable because in his end there is time. God is not slow as we thought because he makes things beautiful in his time. So you need to position yourself to God's timetable to make things beautiful in God's time in your life. Hello? If you don't position yourself as God has planned a purpose or many purpose in our life, it may elude us and it may cause our life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In his word, he says, Colossians chapter 4, verse 5. He said we should redeem the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said we should redeem the time. Hear what I say. He says we need to make most of our time. Because when we don't make most of our time, we will waste our time. I think it is Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 says, whatever your hand find, do it. Ecclesiastes 9.10. Hallelujah. What does it say? 
was, okay, whatsoever your hand find do, to do, do it with thy mind. For there is no work, nor device, or knowledge, or wisdom in grave whither thou go, goest. Whatever your hand find to do, do it. You know, that is why I was saying this morning, there's dignity in labor. Hey, don't waste your time. And don't be a copycat. Uh, bra, 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 bra Shola is doing this. That is what I'm going to do. It is good to emulate good things. But do you ask God? Maybe it's not aligned in your time. When it is not aligned in your time, when you do it, you get time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our time is precious. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your mind. Please, don't procrastinate. You may never come back to it. Procrastination is deadly. I will do this. I will do this. You may not do it. Hallelujah. Our life should be spent doing something really useful and productive and not wasted. Unfortunately, so many of us get absorbed in various distractions that little contribution is made. Many of us, we started good. Planning, oh, by so, so time, by the grace of God, I'm going to accomplish it. But we never get to it. I don't know, maybe you ever ask yourself. One way or the other, we are distracted. And when we are distracted, we don't know. We won't be able to accomplish that purpose for time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wasting time leads to dissatisfaction and it leads to poverty in life. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. When you waste time, Any time you don't get accomplishment or you get little, which you are not satisfied with. We traveled sometimes ago to, is it about a week ago, to Tennessee. So when my family were just moving, so I said, let me just, because it's so hot. So I was in the, this uh, restaurant, very cold. So I can't walk much, so I was there waiting for them. And I saw this old man in that pizza hot uniform. So he came to me, he said, have you done? I said, no, sir. So I engaged him. You know, I'm a kind of person, I like talking to people, I can learn. So I engaged him. I said, oh, how long have you been doing this? Oh, he said, I've been doing this work with, with the waiter, I've been doing it very long. I said, what happened? You didn't go to school? He said, oh, young man, I intend to go to school, but I'm distracted. That's a big word. I intend. That's a life of regret. I wanted to go to school, but either my behavior, my character, whatever he is, he didn't tell me. Hallelujah. And he end up, and that man will be like, it is something. Every time wasted now is paid for in the future. Youth in the house listening to me. 
You are so dear to me. Make hell while the sun is still shining. Do everything to get good grief. He pay off. I have a brother. His father and his mother. Let me say his parents. They did me and my wife. They did us good when we were in Cote d'Ivoire. When I'm traveling out of Cote d'Ivoire, the woman we invite, she's the next to the ambassador. She will invite my wife to come to the embassy to be staying with them. And even when I was not married, she would call me, Victor, where are you? I said, Auntie, oh yeah, come now, I've cooked this soup. And she will pack food, she will do everything. So I came to U.S. She came. But you know, we can't pay back, we tried a little. His son came to do master's here. So I was talking to the guy, very smart. I said, you know, your parents are paying 14000 now. I said, that 14000 you can get it to your pocket. Ah. He said, that would be good, Uncle. I said, you just need all A's and your GPA is above four. The first year, the return is 14000 Please listen to time and purpose. The return is what? The 14000 the school fee. And the third boy of the family get, uni get admission in West Virginia. That same year, the father retired. So, it is the federal government that paid. It's not them. But do you know what? They gave him scholarship. They returned the 14000 His brother's school fee is 12000 in West Virginia. It's the 14000 that they used to pay for the first year. And the guy got scholarship throughout the four years. He did his, uh, the, the, the master's through uh, scholarship too. Hallelujah. What am I bringing out? The purpose of God is that he will come. And in his time he will get. But if he doesn't get what he got, his brother will go through agony because the parent cannot pay that amount of big money. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is issue of life. Guys, put every energy in reading. Never allow smartphone, especially what they call it. I don't know how to use it. What's the name of that? iPhone. Never allow iPhone. Even the one I got, Android, I don't know how to use it. It's mainly for call. Hallelujah. Never allow it to destroy the potential that you have. You know, I saw, I said the second Sunday I was talking something. I said, please, the YouTuber are making money. I have a guy that I'm following in Nigeria. Uh, Shaggy. Everybody in my house know that I follow Brother Shaggy. Hallelujah. Because I'm a kind of mushing boy. Hallelujah. The way he's doing, I like it. Praise the Lord. But one day they were interviewing him. The guy has masters. And this guy making 40 million naira on that year, year stuff every month. All those year, year you are seeing, they are making big money. You are just using the phone and killing your time. There's nothing you get from it. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Please don't be cold on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 24 from verse 30 to 34. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I went by the feet of slothful, lazy people. 
and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. Uh huh. And lo, it was all growing over with thorns. Netus has covered the face thereof, and a stone wall thereof was broken down. Uh huh. A lazy people. Look. Then I saw and I consider it as well. I look upon it and I receive instruction. Hear that instruction in 34. In 33. 33, sorry. In 33. That is where the instruction. Yet little sleep. A little slumber. A little funding of hands to sleep. Uh -huh. It will lead what? 34 now. Such shall thy property come as one that traveleth and thy want as an armed man. If you don't want to be begging, you know, there's this thing before I left Nigeria. They will carry, they will put in a shirt and trouser with tie, and they will carry Froda, and they will get to you, hey, bro, how are you, sir? I'm stranded. You know, I came from uh, uh, Okitipupa, and I, uh, the, my cousin, I was told, so I now we ask, you know, what is the next? Is you need arm, right? You need money. And uh, actually, it's only transport. Uh, that would not be your portion. That would not be your portion. You know, one thing is this. I got to this country in that year that I came, 20, 2003. Hallelujah. The perspiration, everything in my head is that you just get to America, look for a tree where there's dollars. Pluck your own dollars and go. I told my friend, seven years, I'm coming back home. And what, what do I want to? Praise the Lord. It's not like that. Praise the Lord. It's not like that. If you are not a froster, it's not like that. Even froster now, they are frustrated. Hallelujah. Many of them are in jail. Many of them, they have repatriated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everything in life. Please work for it. Don't leave. Don't, don't, don't look for ship money. It's ship destiny. Everywhere you are, you are afraid. I don't know, maybe it's CID or FBI. Ah, let me just. If you don't do evil, you will not be run up and down. Praise the Lord. You walk anytime you want to walk. You go to any place you want to go. Because you are not afraid. Let us be sincere to our life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I put something down here and I was laughing when I saw it. The battle to prosperity is not, it is the battle of time redemption. You want to be successful in life. There are some things you don't do. I watch Brigade. You know, I watch documentations though. And Bigge said, I don't have television in my house because I don't know how to flip it. How much is television, Joe? No, how much is TV? A billionaire does he have? And they were asking, he said, it's part of destruction. When he was so young, his mom was looking for him. He was at the back of the house. And he's, what's that? Be, be, be. He said, mom, I'm thinking. At that tender age, he you know what they said called thinking. Ah, he doesn't do things anyhow. Do you know how much he's earning in Microsoft now? Hallelujah. And I have Papa, Bishop Boyedeko, who said, I don't even know how to do the remote, so I don't have it in my bedroom. 
But now that he has uh, grandchildren, when they come to the house, maybe they will be washing it. Hallelujah. I have TV in my house. There is energy to sleep. All my children, they know. Daddy, we want to watch a movie with his family. I said, no problem. Just give me popcorn. In another five minutes, I will be snoring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Make use of your time, people of God. There was this guy, I've forgotten his name, in Nigeria then. Time now, money, oh. If, oh, if maybe you will. Time is money. How do I know time is money? I have the well understanding, sir, when I got to this country. There's a clock that you need to clock when you start to work. I've never seen it until when I got to this country. You clock in, you clock out. If you don't clock in in the money and you clock out, they will only pay you in Toyota one hour. Because nobody know the time, so they believe you came four to five. Or it is fraud. You didn't clock in because you came late. Praise the Lord. It takes time to know God. It takes time to love God. You just came. Are you now telling? I don't understand the way the word is. You saw a lady the same day and you love her. And all manners of love story, you have started writing it. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let us be watchful and let us allow time in everything that we are doing. God still restore time and God still restore wasted years. I showed you. I said why? I asked my question. I said, I said how? And I showed you in Second Peter chapter 3 verse 8. So God gave me two illustrations and I want to give this illustration and I will stop. God restore time. It doesn't matter how the time is wasted. God can make it happen. Hallelujah. And God said to me, there was these two ladies. They get married at the same day. She get another baby. Baby, in six years, she got six and uh, three ladies, uh, three children, rather, please. I'm sorry. But the second lady got nothing. But when she got to seven years in marriage, she told her husband, Sweetheart, it seems something is swelling in in my tummy. Hallelujah. And she gave birth to triplet. Hallelujah. Let me give you this analysis with my little mathematics. There is a risk in life when you want to give birth. It's only God. That make us to give birth like Hebrew woman. Hallelujah. So she gave birth for one, there's a risk. Second, risk. Third, risk. But this lady that came seventh, seventh year, she only have one. Hello? And she has what? That is restoration. Hallelujah. She labored for three times. But God restored her time. The day of Makenu Zagedo Siketu Bruzagadeya. Oh, give me Joel, please. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Every day the canker worm, the caterpillar has eaten. The year that the locusts are eaten. The canker worm, the Caterpillar, the power of and my grand army, which I sent among you. 26, sir. And he says something that is spectacular. You shall eat in plenty. 
I said you shall eat in plenty. It doesn't matter how it looks like now. And God will restore your time and you will eat in plenty. The second illustration. Two young men came out the same time from university. They were graduating. And one got work immediately. And he was working as a manager in one of the company. And his package is one million per year. The second brother looked for job. So the extent is true as torn. A third year, she got a job. She got a job in oil company. And they are paying her in dollars. Rise to your faith. Hallelujah. Rise to your faith. Hallelujah. And God said to me this morning, please, everyone that is in this house, unforgiveness, destroy and delay destiny. Turn your Bible with me, please. Studio Job 42. Verse 10. Unforgiveness bring delay. And delay kill time. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Why? When he prayed for his friend. He has hold his friend as part of his calamity. So he was grudging it. He was not able to see well. He was holding his friend. He cannot reason well. So things are not working well. I'm begging everybody in the house. I had this this morning. Whoever you hold in your heart. Sometimes it's not true. What you are thinking is not true. And should I tell you something that I'm scared of? God is the judge of all. Ooh. I pray God will not judge us. I pray in the mighty name earnestly that God will not judge us. Whatever grudges you are holding, let go this morning. Let God. Has God, the Lord God of heaven, everything that I hold, I release it. As Job prayed, God turned his captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus, many captivities shall be turned this morning. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Please turn your Bible with me. First Peter chapter 5. That is our first prayer. Chapter 5, verse 10. That is our first prayer. We are going to pray three prayers. Hallelujah. And I will have my seat. Amen. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after you have suffered a while, you have lost timing. After you have suffered a while, you have lost time. Your purpose is inevitable. God will perfect you. God will establish you. God will strengthen you. God will say to you, open your mouth and begin to pray. The Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, it is my time to be perfected. It is my time to be established. It is my time to be strengthened. It is my time to be settled. Lord, settle me with the goodness of the land. In the name of Jesus, with the goodness of the land, Lord, settle me. Lord, settle me. Lord, settle me in the name of Jesus. God, settle me in the precious name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Isaiah 61, verse 7. Isaiah 61, verse 7. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. For your shame, you shall have double. Only two people catch that. I said, for your shame, you shall have double. Amen. For confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Amen. Therefore, in their land, 
they shall possess double. I said you shall possess double. Whatever you have lost, you will possess double. And everlasting joy shall be your portion. Open your mouth and begin to breathe. Lord, I possess double. I possess double. I begin to enjoy everlasting blessing. In the name of Jesus, I possess double. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The last prayer is Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. Hallelujah. I will restore to you the year that the locusts are sitting, the canker worm and the caterpillar, a barber worm and my gray army, which I send unto you. You are going to shout restoration three times, and you are going to pray in the mighty name of